All right, so continuing on with the female model, just like the male model, it has two pieces. It has an, uh, an external piece and then the, the deeper piece. Um, there's some important terms here you don't have to know for your lab exam. But again, just to kind of orient us, we have the sigmoid colon here. The outside is kind of this gray mauve color, kind of a brown tone. The inside is pink. Um, it's going to come out here, all right? And then the deeper structure, I could pull back, and you can actually see here um, uh, as it comes through uh, the rectum down to the anus. Okay, so that's the end of the colon, all right? And we've already talked about um, the bladder, so in the, towards the front, the bladder and the urethra. And in the female reproductive tract, this actually is, is not part of the reproductive tract. This is all the, the um, part of the urinary tract. So we're not gonna discuss those, those pieces. Instead, we're focused on from an external view, uh, starting here in the center between the anus and the external urethral opening or the external urethral orifice, all right? Um, there's the labia. We're not gonna talk about those for the purpose of, of this lab exam, but they're right here, uh, or the labii, plural. Um, and so this would be the vagina, okay? That uh, internal opening right here, moving towards the uterus, right? So this cavern, this hole here is the uterus. This is the walls of the uterus. We'll talk more about that in class. And then the cervix is actually this little kind of, uh, uh, you can see it looks kind of like the vagina with the ridges, uh, but this is a little ridged area that's opening to the uterus itself. All right, so uterus, cervix, vagina. Okay, and we can see those same structures on this, this kind of outset piece that fits right on top, so we can open it up and see the same structures. Um, if we look at it from an external view, pop this back on here, okay? Um, you can see the bone right here. Um, so we can actually see this is uh, cut back a little bit. So this would be where the vaginal opening is right here. The, the urethra is going to be up here. So this is actually the back side of the vagina right here, moving up into the uterus. So the uterus sits just deep to this, okay? And then this is the ovary. The ovary is this little yellow, uh, almost cotton ball or bean-like structure, okay? And then this is the uterine tube, this whole red area. It turns kind of a pinkish color, okay? And then there's the uterus itself, all right? And then there's the other uh, ovary. And then here you can see the uterine tube, this dark red color, crimson color, moving to a pink as it moves toward um, the, the uterus itself, okay? So let's look at some important terms here on our list. We've already talked about the ovaries. Um, I'll have to show you a picture to talk about the difference in the cortex and the medulla, um, because that's different layers within the ovary. Um, so I'll post that as well. Um, and then next we have a series of ligaments, the ovarian ligament, the broad ligament, and the round ligament, okay? So um, we can see these on both uh, areas here. Um, so again, this is the uterine tube, right? So you can see where it comes in close to the uterus. Let's move around here a little bit. We can see both, both this uh, ovary and this ovary. So you can see here, that's the uterine tube itself, okay? Um, and so then uh, uh, right beside it, we have the round ligament right here. Okay, that would be the round ligament right here. And then we have the ovarian ligament. And the ovarian ligament is very close to the uterine tube. So this is the uterine tube. That's the ovarian ligament right here. All right, so it's a little bit closer to the ovary. And if we, if we kind of take the correct angle to be able to see it a little better, you can see that it actually connects the ovary back into the wall, outer wall of the uterus. Okay, so uterine tube right here. All right, and then the ovarian ligament where the round ligament on this external piece kind of points out and stops. Um, or what I'll probably label for the test is this other piece right here. That's the, the round ligament. And then um, the broad ligament actually uh, basically is going to be a, this deep structure, kind of the white area here, that's going to help connect back towards the uh, uterine wall between the ovary and the uterus. Um, and there's actually a little bit better picture to understand conceptually uh, if you look at one of the tables from the PowerPoint or in the book. All right, um, so those are the main uh, uh, ligaments. And then next we have um, the sections of the uterine tube, okay? Fimbriae are much like fingers, okay? And so if you think about this structure, we have the fimbriae, which are, which are part of the uh, infundibulum, okay? And then moving from the ovary towards the uterus, we're gonna have the ampulla and the isthmus, 
So uh, if you're familiar with the word isthmus and geography, it's something like Panama. So it's like a, a, a strait um, that connects two larger bodies. Okay, so we can think about an isthmus in the body uh, connecting two larger areas. All right, so connecting the uterine tube into the uterus itself. All right, so let's look uh, on this, this uh, model that's sticking out, so the ovary. And if you look closely, there's like these little finger-like ridges right in here. Those are the fimbriae, okay? And this area right beside the fimbriae where it's this really bright crimson or scarlet red, that's the infundibulum, okay? The ampulla is kind of around this curve here, okay? It's getting still this dark crimson or bright crimson color. And then the isthmus is actually the space right here where it's going to connect back into the uterus. Okay, so ampulla is right here, and then that's the isthmus. Okay, so uh, then the uterus itself, all right, we, we talked about the fundus of the stomach being the dome shape. So this is the fundus of the uterus. Or if we open up the uterus, we could also say that this is the fundus. Okay, so it's the... Um, the more superior structure that's going to be the furthest away um, from the actual vaginal opening, all right, the top of the uterus. All right, and we already mentioned the, the vagina, the uterus, and the cervix, and that gets us through the entire female model.